double bonnet oh, so let's get that out of the way. I'm getting a little intimidated. We can back up, look at our structure here. We see there's two hydrogens. Let's color that in. Okay, so look now. Now we're done with the three carbons. Now we gotta take care of the five-membered star. Well, we got an oxygen here. Let's color that in. Color some of this into Amy Lou Harris, Kentucky Sweetheart, Lexington, 1977. Now we're getting oxygens on these, right? The PO4, there's four oxygens on a phosphate. So in this case, this O is going to be an alcohol. And one of them they usually draw as being uncharged. So we don't even need the lions on there anymore. We're getting to be such proficient chemists here. So let's see here. Oh, now how are we going to do a negative on there? It's got a negative charge to it. Only one of these gets protonated at normal biological pH, they call it. So we're not afraid of phosphates, huh? One's going to be an alcohol. One's going to be an O to the carbon. One's going to be O with a negative, And one gets double bond. That's the easy one, right? So see, now we're stepping up. We're getting more sophisticated in our chemistry here. Five bonds. Even Emma Lou says it's going to be easy from now on. So now we're introducing new colors, huh, kids? You thought it was all getting boring before. Color in phosphorus. Orange star. Our star is considered yellow-white, but we get so much in the visible that we can't really see the yellowish part of it. So there you go. Glyceraldehyde. Aldehyde is up here. Glycer is three. Three phosphate because you count the carbons. One, two, three. The phosphate is on the third. That doesn't mean three phosphates. This probably confuses a lot of kids. So the next reaction is they're going to throw another phosphate in here. This was what I was talking about before when the oxygen with all the electrons pulling on it. Remember, that's a two-headed little alien there, right? That's pulling all the electron density of that carbon to that side. So they'll draw a little plus there, a little delta plus, they'll call it. So now when another phosphorus comes in, this part here with the negative, that's what we should have drawn. We should have just drawn the, this is a three-headed alien. Okay, if you're afraid of aliens, you're not going to like this oxygen. So the next molecule that comes up in this, after it gets phosphorylated, it's called a phosphoryl group. It's not a phosphate. Because technically this O is considered part of that carbon, but... So now we're going to end up with a... Three, phosphoglyceric. See how they changed the name on you? Before the glycer was in the first part and the phosphate at the end. Now all of a sudden, it's three phospho. Put a little dash in there if it's too big for you. Phosphoglyceric acid. The acid means that the OH somewhere next to a carboxylate was protonated, and it's probably the phosphoric acid here. So, are we afraid of this molecule? Heck no. Let's bring her on. Start with the carbons, because these are organic compounds. It's still a glycer, so three. Let's draw us three diamonds. I'm going to look ahead and see where the next phosphate group is. So we're going to be uh, up there and up there. So we're going to draw little diamond, 
Big Diamond. Big Diamond. That's our three carbons. One, two, three. Whoa. I'm getting a little intimidated. Okay, simmer down. We'll just finish that colored carbon in the middle here. So here's an OH group. And a dot. Make it pink for the ladies. Okay, well, we'll color number two, man. Number three is going to look exactly like that. So we can copy off that. We don't need to worry about him. Huh? Let's do that. Let's just copy it. So we'll keep the O on the side, I guess. O. Five-pointed star. Now we draw the oxygens on here. We know it's just like this. Double bond one. There's a green. Green. It doesn't show. It looks black anyway, doesn't it? That's going to be an alcohol. That's going to be the three-headed alien. So we're doing pink today. So there's pink in there. Pink, pink, colored in before we get too ahead of ourselves. But isn't this easy? I mean, anytime you feel a little intimidated, just take a little break. We got the P covered. There you go. Something's messed up on the mouse on that Let's finish this up real quick. We got the clock running here. We need orange. We got a phosphate up here to deal with. And we still got the carboxyl, so let's get the green. Draw the O first. O up there. Got an O going to a phosphate. Star, right? See, look, these are always going to be the same, kids. This is going to be nothing. Phosphorus, it's got all kinds of oxygens on it. Here's a double O. Here's a O with the minus on it. Alcohol group there. We've got, what do we got? Is this red here? Let's finish this off. We got one H here. Nope, that ain't it. Got no H's on that puppy. Got single, double, O, nothing there. Colored in black. We've got a ketone here. Crayons. Oh, man, this is annoying. Sorry, folks. I'm trying to paint the clock here. The tape runs out. And we're not going to make it. Get down. P, color in the phosphorus. O's. We got double bonded O here. Double bonded O there. Hydrox uh, alcohol. O charge, 
single bonnet o single